everybody, it's MMFQ Death here, and uh, this is going to be a super quick tutorial, which you guys will probably already see. It'll only be about two, three, maybe four minutes. Um, but just to show you guys how to uh, make a bootable USB and or flash drive, whatever you guys want to call it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up a command prompt. And you can do that one of two ways, depending on what operating system you do. I usually use the run command on most of my tutorials because it covers from XP to Windows 7 and even the developer preview. All right, so what you're going to want to do is hold Windows key and hit R, and that will bring up run. Type in <coughs> cmd.exe. Hit enter, and that will open up a command prompt window. Now, this command prompt window can do everything on your computer that you could even possibly imagine, but we're not going to get into that. What you're going to want to type is disk part and hit enter, one word. <coughs> so now you're going to want to wait until that comes up. And that's basically telling you that you're able to type. So now once you're able to type, what you're going to want to type here first is going to be list space disk. Hit enter. And that will show you all of the different... Um, uh, what do I want to call it? Um, <laughs> sorry, all of the different flash drives that you have available, or actually all of the different actual disks in your system. So basically what we're going to do is you can already see that this is obviously my hard drive. It's 1800 or 1863 gigabytes. So that's not a flash drive. Um, 298 gigabytes, again, not a flash drive. <laughs> But this one, 3,823 megabytes, that's, in case you didn't know, about 3.8 gigs. So that's a four gig flash drive. So what you're going to want to do is type in these commands. Now, give me one second to plug in a different flash drive so that I'm not erasing data off of this one. Because this uh, flash drive that's in there right now currently is well, it has a lot of my backup on it. So now that that's in, uh, we can type list disk again. And now we have the new ones. Uh, so as you can see, there is zero gigabytes free. Let's just open up an Explorer window and go to the computer to see the flash drive right here. You can see it is 3.75 gigabytes, which translates to 3850 megabytes. So now what you're going to want to do next is select disk 2, because mine is disk 2. Yours will be different, but the command is select disk and then the number. Now you can see it's the selected disk, so you want to type clean, hit enter. It will basically wipe the drive and there's nothing left on it. Uh, Windows won't even recognize it if I were to open up the Explorer again. So now you want to type create. Partition, primary, hit enter. And then now you want to type select, partition, one. Now that that's selected, you want to type format, uh, space FS equals NTFS, and then hit enter. Now I'll be back once it's done formatting with the rest of the tutorial. So right back, you guys. All right, you guys, we're back. And as you guys can see, the format is complete. All right, so there's only a couple more steps until the USB flash drive will be completely done. Um, here's what we're gonna do. 
Now that it's done, type in assign, and it will assign the drive a drive number. And just to show you guys up here, uh, the autoplay popped up. It gave it the letter H. And then now you can type exit. And that will exit the disk partitioner, and it will bring you back to the CMD. So now you guys don't have to do that. I just like mine to start out on my base C drive. Uh, so you guys would end with exit, and then you can close the window. And now this next step, uh, you can do one of two ways. Either way, you're going to need a program like Power ISO, Magic ISO, or uh, <clears throat> Alcohol 120. So I have Power ISO. Uh, I will include a download link down in the description um, for Power ISO, Magic ISO, and Alcohol 120. But for Power ISO, I'm going to throw in a little treat, and I will. It'll be a torrent for uh, Chat Cheetos version, which basically uh, you can activate it, and it'll be the full version. So anyway. Um, the first way to do it will be the Windows 7 USB DVD tool. Or, I'm sorry, you don't need it for both ways. This way you don't, but this way, uh, not as reliable, and sometimes it doesn't work. All right, so you can open that up. Oh, and it doesn't work with uh, all ISOs for Windows. Uh, so now you can hit Browse, and you can select the .ISO. Let's just go to Desktop, pick one of these random ones I have like that. Next. Then you would select USB device, and you can use this for um, DVDs too. Now, usually you would hit begin copying, and it will scan and all that. Um, now, certain copies of Windows don't work with this, so that's why you will need Power ISO or alcohol or something like that. So basically, what you would do in that case that the Windows USB uh, DVD tool told you that it wasn't successful or that the copy of Windows was not genuine, um, you would open up the disk like this. Just go into computer, double click on it, done. Then you would open up one of the dot ISOs that you have, any of the Windows ones. Let's just open this one up. All right, you guys. So um, this had to cut a bunch of stuff out because a bunch of problems kept coming up. Uh, not with this, but with my computer. I uh, just had like a basic malware attack. Um, but yeah, anyway, malware bytes save the day. Just wanted to tell you guys. So definitely go download this program. That link will be in the description. Uh, anyway, so what you want to do is uh, take all these files and extract them to a folder on the desktop. Don't just um, drag, though. Actually hit the extract button up there on the top. Uh, I can't tell you for any other programs considering that, you know, I'm using a... Uh, I'm using one by the name of Power ISO, so, yeah. Uh, yes. All right. So, anyway, we're just going to let this extract. And, wow, that was really, really quick. Um, all right, yeah, anyway, we'll be back when that's done. So, see ya. All right, you guys, uh, we're back, and woo frickin' who, it's done. All right, anyway. <laughs> All right, so uh, now you can get rid of your ISO opening program. You don't need that crapness anymore. All right, so just open this up. Uh, hit Control-A to select all, or just, you know, uh, highlight them. And then just copy to the removable disk. So uh, I'm actually going to stop this, but... Um, it should go perfectly fine. There should be no problems there. If you guys encounter any problems with it, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Uh, or you can email me at my MMFQ videos email that is at the very bottom of the description right above the uh, copyright label, which is the MMFQ video productions tag thing. All right, anyway, yeah. All right, that's not important, so... uh all right, guys, hope that this tutorial helped you. If it did, please leave a like. It helps my channel greatly. Um, if you like this sort of stuff and you want to see more, check out my videos or my channel. Uh, plenty of information there, and there's not a whole bunch of videos right now, but 
uh, as we move on, you know, they'll, they'll come. All right, anyway, <laughs> so uh, thanks, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to, really. And <clears throat> really subscribe if you are anticipating a faster gaming-based, NVIDIA-based, slightly black-based version of Windows 7 being released by me, made by me. And you'll see it here first if you're subscribed. It'll be delivered to your feeds instantly as soon as the video comes up with the links in it. All right, you guys. Um, like I said, MMFQ Death here with MMFQ Videos. And we'll see you guys next time. All right.